Okay, so let's uh, be a simple interest. So the simple interest is the, this is the charge only on the loan amount for the principal. So thus the interest on uh, previously earned is not included. Simple interest is calculated by multiplying the principal by the rate of interest by the number of payment period in here. So, uh, ito yung ating simple interest. So we are now in the world of, ano, uh, what do you call sa ABM na tayo. Yan, yung mga pag abm Then, we have the simple interest formula. The simple interest formula is equal to uh, I is equal to PRT where, uh, where P is the principal, I is the interest, the R is still the rate, and the T is the time in years or fraction of a year. So, pag inahanap yung I, you have to use the PRT. Ito. Kapag naman inahanap yung P, you have to use I uh, over RT. Then, kung R naman, R is equal to I over PT. Then, your kapag time naman, T is equal to I over PR. So, yun yan. So, to find for the maturity value, uh, simply add uh, the interest to the principal. So, maturity value, that is the A. Starts for the letter A. So, we have to add the interest and the principal. So, the formula for the A or the... Uh, the maturity value or the amount or the balance, we have A is equal to P plus I, so principal plus the interest. Or you can use A is equal to P plus PRT. Or you can use A is equal to P times I, the quantity of I plus RT. So, A stands for the maturity value, P stands for the principal, I stands for the interest. So, so let's have the example. I hope you have your calculator. So let me do that again. So example is a loan institution charge 12% simple interest for a for a three year sixty thousand loan. So letter A we have to find for the total interest on the loan. Letter B find the total amount must be paid to the loan institution at the end of three years. So we have to identify uh, the given. Dami na ka Okay lang. Puso ata yun. Okay, so we will have here the given. Meron tayo 12%. That will be the R. So, 12%. This will be take as 0 0.12. Then, Uh, 60,000 this will be the principal Next. then we have here the T is equal to 3 years so ang hinahanap natin is the simple interest or the total interest so solution so we need to find for letter A is the I and for the letter B, it's letter A. So, for letter A, magkakaroon tayo ng I is equal to P, R, and T. Or P, R, T. So, this will take as P is equal to uh, your principal is 60,000. Multiply natin siya ng uh, the R is 0 0.12. Multiply natin ng 3 years. What will be the I? Pakicompute po. po. 21,600 po. Okay, so you can have the 21,600 pesos as for the interest. Next, for the letter B. So we have to use A is equal to P plus I. So your A is equal to our principal is 60,000 plus yung interest natin which is 21,600. So add lang natin. Magkakaroon tayo dito ng 81,600. 
pesos. Yan. Question? Wala naman. Nakuha. I hope so. Okay. So, next solution. Ay, next solution. Next problem. So, we have We have the example number two. We have to buy a school supply for a coming school year. You get a summer job at a resort. Suppose you have saved 4,200 of your salary and deposit it into an account that earns simple interest. So after nine months, the balance is 4,263. Then what is the annual interest rate? So let's uh, identify the given muna. So, meron tayo dito, nakalagay ito ay 4,200. What will be the 4,200? Is this A? Is this B? B. So, People this is B. Okay. So, this is principal, which is 4,200. So, again, the principal, ito yung simula mo, yung starting. Then, the next is the, after 9 months, you can have, this will be the time. So, therefore, this is 9 over 12. Bakit 9 over 12? Kasi ang isang taon ay may 12 months. So, nakalagay lang dyan ay 9 months. So, we need to take this as a in a year. So, that's why this will be 9 over 12. Kaya naging 9 over 12 yan. Now, in fraction, what is 9 over 12? It's 0. 0.75. Okay. So, 0. 0.75. Next, we have the balance. That will be the A, which is uh, 4,263. Yung amount. So, solution, uh, we need to find for the annual interest or the R. Okay, solution. Tingin for the solution, given natin is P, given natin yung T, given natin yung A. Tapos, kukuha tayo ng R. So, to get for the R, kailangan muna natin gamitin yung A is equal to P plus I. Yung amount natin is 4,263. Then, is equal to P, which is 4,200 plus I. So, lipat natin dito. So, 4,263 minus 4,200 is equal to I. Therefore, your I is what will be the I? This will be 4,263 minus 4,200. This will take us, the, the interest will be 63 pesos. Yun yung I natin. Now, from this, we can now identify your R. So, using I is equal to P, R, A, T. So, I, sabi dito yung I mo ay 63. From here, is equal to P. What is P? That is 4,200. Now, multiply tayo ng R, multiply tayo ng T, which is 0 0.75. So, multiply natin itong dalawa na to. So, this will be 63 is equal to 4,200 multiplied by 0 0.75. What will be the answer? 3,150 po. Okay, so magkaroon tayo ng 3,150. Then R. Then we are getting for the R. So we need to divide by 3150. 3150. Cancel out. So therefore, R is equal to 63 over 3150. Now, what will be the R? 63 divided by 3150. We will have. 0 point zero two po. Okay. So, since R is in the percentage, pero nasa ano tayo, uh, decimal, 
this will take, multiply na lang natin siya ng 100. So, therefore, your R is equal to 2%. Question? So, the final answer will be 2% as the annual interest for the uh, 4,263 as the uh, amount with in 9 months in in time with the principal of 4,200. Next, we have the ordinary interest or the banker, banker's interest. This is called the interest based on the 360 day per year. So, 360 day year. Then, the exact interest is the interest based on 365 per year. Now, Meron tayong tinatawag dito na, uh, mamaya pa pala yun, pero uh, just an overview. Meron tayong tinatawag kasi na year, leap year. So, therefore, nagkakaroon tayo ng 365 and one-fourth day. So, nandalagdagan. Yung February, di ba? Yung February 28, nagkakaroon siya ng isang araw, which is 29. So, every four years. So, i-ano natin siya mamaya. I-apply natin siya mamaya. So, okay. so again, so... Bankers interest that is 360 while the extra interest is 365. Example, you get a 180-day to 200,000 loan from a bank at 10.5% interest. Calculate <coughs> interest using the 360-day and 365-day per year. So, let's identify first the given. Given natin, kalagay dito is the time, which is 180. The principal is equal to 200,000. And the R is equal to 10.5%, which is equal to 0 0.105. Now, you have to move twice to the to the left kapag i-ano siya, the decimal. So, 10.5 is equivalent to 0 0.105. So, letter A. So, we have to find for the letter A, 360. Letter B using the 365. So, I is equal to P, then R, and T. So, daron tayo ng 200,000. Multiply natin siya ng R, which is the 0 0.105 multiply natin siya ng 180 over 360 what will be the answer three million seven hundred eighty thousand three million mali po presyo Parang mali. Interest yun na. 1,050? 1,050, are you sure? 10,500 po. 500 po. It's 10,500. Ah, same answer with others? Okay, so you will have 10,500 pesos as the uh, interest if you're going to use uh, 180 and 360 uh, day or bankers uh, interest bankers day okay. uh, ordinary interest bankers interest Tama. next for the letter B for the letter B using the 365 so the same A, I is equal to 200,000 multiply by 0 0.105 Multiply by 180 over 365. So, what will be the I? Uh, 10,356. Point 10, 17. 17. 17. Uh, 10, 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. Kasama so, yeah. mo ba talaga dapat yung ano, si decimal din po? 
Oo, kasama. Kasama rin po. Ah, okay. Oo, per- Sige po. Per- pera kasi to. Wala po kasi ako nga ng pera. <laughs> <laughs> so, mag-aaral tayo ng 10,000. 3, 5, 6.5. Sixteen pesos. Uh, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 
So, in February 15, ay hindi lip year. Kaya siya ay 28 lang. So, meron ng 28 minus 8. This is 20. Tapos, March. Yung March natin ay 31. Tapos, April. Yung April natin ay 30. Tapos, May. May 31 to. Tapos, June. Ang June ay 30. Tapos, July. Meron pa dito 31. Tapos, August. 31 ulit. Tapos, September, quarantine na ulit. Joke lang. <laughs> sunod na Pasko. Ganun. So, ang sunod ay August, September. 30. Tapos, October 8. So, add natin siya. So, 20 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 ulit. So, ito ay 51. Ito ay 61. Ito 61. Ito ay 61 also. Tapos, 8. Ayan. So, 51, 61, 61, 61, 8. Ilag lahat. 242? Okay, 242. This will be okay, 242 days between uh, February, February 8, to October. Okay, February 8 to October 8, 2015. That is 242 days.